Welcome to the bad boy pod, talking bad boy bars, make a good girl nuts with the bad boy swag. Having conversations that a bad boy mad, sit down, relax, kick back, have a blast, enjoy the bad boy pod, brought to you by Lady Pod. No, but the sun is peeking through. But the sun is peeking through. The Beatles wrote a lot of songs about sun. But I guess they're British, so they only saw it like once a year. Oh, that's a really good, I don't know. Like, obviously, they were horny for sun. Obviously, the Beatles were horny for sun. My name is Zoe Clark. (laughs) If you're going to be horny for something, (laughs) be horny for the hottest planet in our galaxy. And I'm Julia Davidovich, and I, nothing gets me going like the moon. Oh, you're right. And sometimes, and sometimes, sometimes I listen to the moon. I don't know. Oh, yeah. What does he or she say? Are they? You know what? I don't know. I mean, not to get too moon talky. I mean. mean, Oh, you mean like astro? Astro talk? Mm -hmm. Astroturf? Okay. It's real astroturf. Oh, yeah. It's a real. We're going to a Scorpio moon, I think, which is my personal moon. You know, real fans know. So you're going into a Scorpio moon like the world is. The world is as you're going into my. What does that mean? We're going to get horny? They're all going to get horny. Is that what that means? No. I don't Aren't know. Scorpio's moody horny? Oh, moody? Fuck. Well, I don't need any I'm more of that. Horny, horny, horny. horny. Yeah. New Sorry. Um, wait, did you know that Gobble Gobble <laughs> used to call me the moody one? Oh, yeah, you did tell me that. But like, here's the thing. <laughs> Not wrong. Yeah, but a man but can't, a man can't say that. A man who barely knows me can't say that. You're right. That's probably the worst person to say it to your face yeah. or yeah. not to your face. Around not the to corner. my face. Definitely around the corner, but I found out about it and I confronted his ass. Did you? I forgot about that. I confronted his ass and then he confronted the person who told me. <gasps> classic. Classic snake. Donkey. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, really sneaky. And I was like, it's not his fault for telling me. It's your fault for saying it. Anyway, never trust a man in a leadership position. That's all I have to so say. You about heard that. it here first and also <laughs> last. And also last. Like, if you didn't know that already, I don't know what I'm teaching you, baby. You know, that's helpful. That's helpful the second you go into the workforce. It's true. Only have lady bosses. Lady bosses. Yeah. Are you a lady boss? You will be one day, I'm sure. You mean that? <laughs> More than anything in the world. Um, I, I don't really know. I have had to manage people once and it was not my cup of tea. So I don't mm. know. Would you Sounds ever like want to manage to people? Not really. Yeah. I don't want to manage people. I just want people, no. you know, just tell me what they need from me and then leave me alone for six that's hours so kind I can of, do it. That's kind of how I feel too. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, or or let me do it on my own. Nobody, no help just me oh you know? yeah exactly. either tell me what to do and leave me alone or just let me do it my way yeah just pull the string in the back of me and then i'll go and do my little thing for a few hours maybe take a nap in the middle but i'll do it yeah 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 what's your ideal nap length just mm. thought i should ask i always do a 45 minute or did i not i'm a three-quarter broad you're a three-quarter broad I well feel great i feel like perfect i usually feel like I set my timer for an hour and then I'll like play with my phone for a while. And usually it'll end up being about 45 minutes, but sometimes I'll extend her. Like when you text me today, can we do two 30? I'm watching Rue. I was napping. And when I got that text, I extended my nap by 15 entire minutes. Oh my God. So I kind of helped you today you by did. watching Rue so late in my day. Yeah. You watch Rue late. Um, oh, well, can you do you want to know why? I mean, it is my bad boy, but I feel like I already told you. Well, I guess we can just move into bad boys on the block then. I feel like it just uh, we will wade perfectly into it because let's wade right VH1, in. VH1, VH1. Oh. Hello, put up hey. the fucking last episode on your app. I had to watch on my laptop like some kind of animal. Like, what are you, a college student? Like, am I, yeah, am I a dog in a shelter? Oh, watching? wow, yeah. They have, I don't each know, what one do of dogs them get one iPads. laptop. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> they watch Fraser. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> for cats, they like put on like bird shows or whatever, or it'll yes. be like, here's eight hours of sparrows. And you're like, amazing. Mm-hmm. Here, cats, mm-hmm. watch mm-hmm. this. And for dogs, it's like honking horns and Frasier. <laughs> <laughs> honking horns and Frasier. That's dog TV for you. It's carnival music and Frasier Crane. Also, before I forget, mm. nay a one person emailed Diane a picture of Kevin James in a tank top. Yeah, how dare you? That's farked up. <laughs> More of like a fall spring. That's it's two separate seasons, but like... It's a fall spring for sure. He's toasty, baby. Um, Very casual for a red carpet event when you think about it. Because that's like a sports coat and a t-shirt with like a scoopier neck than I'd like to see on Kevin James. Mm, he's showing a lot of neck, you know? He's feeling confident he's showing, in the fall, spring. He's showing a lot of neck, which maybe <laughs> is his best asset. You're right. I would say his name is Kevin Neck James for a perfect Kevin neck. neck. James, Kevin Neck James bucket hat. Kevin Neck James bucket hat. Beautiful. Wait, Beautiful so your drop. bad boy is... <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful Zoe. Oh, I, love I don't think we would get F-L-A-G-G-E-D by the G-O-V... Yarn M E N T for beautiful Zoe. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the ninety day fiance government. I'm sure will be fine with <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They let him do his yeah. little um, what's it called? It's on the side. I, but like the entire reality cameos. verse cameos. I'm like losing information now and, and like regaining new information. At some point, TLC is going to put in their put a clause in their the contract oh. that's like, and we get fifty percent of all your cameos. Thanks. And also any spinoff YouTube channels you decide to do. Natalie has not oh. posted a YouTube uh, cooking show in a second. Mm. I would know. I get the notifications, and mm. um, I'm a little pissed. So, like, where are you, okay, Natalie? Okay, someone check up on someone check up on her and send, and then email Diana a picture of Kevin James in a tank top because yeah, I feel please. like it's related. Hello, you know, where's Natalie? Where's our pick? Mm. Two peas in a pod. It's almost um, summer. He needs his tank top. Well, my bad boy was going to be iTunes because our, maybe nobody noticed, Mm. uh, but bad boy pods page was missing on iTunes for a solid seven hours. And me and Julia were in a tiffy, tissy, huge titty. Huge. <laughs> we were in a huge titty because like where the fuck did it go and we emailed them and they emailed me back four days later which is so unhelpful but anyway she's back and my other bad boy on the block was that paul rust is not jewish oh yeah i forgot which it's kind of anti-semitic it, not to be jewish it is completely not okay in my book like if you no, something someone's lying to somebody because he is the most jewish looking person i've seen I mean, it's to me, it is shocking. To me, I I I feel personally attacked, but you should feel more attacked. Here's the thing: is like being compared to Paul Rust when I thought he was Jewish. I was like, okay, yeah, haha, all Jews look the same, fine. But now that I know that he's not Jewish, and they just think I legitimately look like Paul Rust in a not anti-Semitic way, (laughs) that's just pure offensive. I mean. Does Paul Russ know he's Jewish? Yep. Can any <laughs> be on finding somebody your roots please, in years from now? Somebody please tell him because I I cannot be the one. I love love. Love's a great show. And and you know he just has a very specific Jewy look, and that he's not Jewish I find unsavory to be compared to. I mean, it's very complicated. What that's a complicated subject. Yeah, being Jewish is a whole bag. And we'll get into it on another podcast. Um, bad boy being I don't, Jewish. Yeah, certainly bad boy being Jewish. Oh, let me see what time we started. Let me see what time we started on the podcast 10 minutes ago. We did? Um, we had a long chat about all sorts of things. I uh, wish you guys could have been there. <laughs> Not really, because then we wouldn't have been able to be our true selves. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, my true authentic self. You you wouldn't get to see the laptop pointed down at my crotch for six hours. Yeah, Kevin had a slow day today, um, but he got here. Somehow I wasn't late today, but Kevin was. So I don't know. I'm not sure how that, ha- how that happened. Scorpio happened. moon. Is that the Scorpio moon? <laughs> it's all Scorpio moon. Mm-hmm. Um, I had the same thought myself. Well, I guess there's a quick bad boy update. Oh, 
Who? Elon Musk. Oh boy. Will Another be hosting SNL. Like. Oh yeah. Another person I look like. With musical guest Miley Cyrus on May 8th. Hmm. And this is weird. Like, I can't imagine that like Kate McKinnon is pleased as a pickle about this. Like, what is this what does the cast feel about it? You know what I mean? I'm sure Kate McKinnon is pissed. I mean, like, who who's the booker on the show? I just want I have a few questions. Who's the Cory Booker? I think Lauren is the one who makes the final decisions. Lauren making the final decisions on this? Why would you do that? Why why Elon? You like what why? He seemed I mean, it's like like they had Trump host, you know, it's like they do this shit. Lauren, please hire me or whatever, but like also why why you do this? (laughs) Why you do this? Um yeah, I just seems like um he seems like a Bitcoin dude. He has Elon or Lauren? Lauren. Yeah, Elon definitely offered Lauren like a lot of Dogecoin or whatever to do this. Dogecoin? Someone definitely Dogecoin. explained Dogecoin to me in the last week and I was like, interesting. Yeah. Someone I saw my friend yesterday, Robinson, gobble, whatever, it doesn't matter. I saw him yesterday and he said that uh well that's where I learned that it was pronounced Dogecoin and not Dogecoin, which makes it even worse. <laughs> I'm like I listen, can't keep up with the coins. Just learn that like Bitcoin had cents. Just learn that Bitcoin oh. is valued at like 60K right now per coiny poo. Yeah, it's so guys, many coiny poos. Guys, guys. Do you regret not getting into crypto? <sighs> Biggest fucking regret of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest goddamn regret. I mean, I'm glad I that there's great. like no. I feel like. <laughs> perfect. I'm glad there's no like money trail of me to something called Dogecoin. Yeah, on like 600 you computers can't. or however this works. I don't know. I have no idea. Jerry has crypto and he has a like, it's on a USB. Something's on a USB. It's like a password. I do not understand. It all seems like spy shit to me. Should I not have said that? Is that like disclosing something? No, I just think that's how crypto works. I mean, like. It's like the- a key that it's locked up. So don't try everybody. But like the the on top of it, on top of it, it's like the whole password thing. If you lose your password, you're like fucked. Oh, I know. I that's the thing. Guys, I don't guys. get it. I don't get it. Do two-factor identification is enough for me. Like do three-factor if, if you if need it can to. Protect, if it can protect Diane's Twitter, it can protect your <laughs> your Bitcoin. Mm. So true. Which deserve equal which deserve equal amounts of protection, if you ask me. I think Diane is bursting with Bitcoin. I think that she really got oh, into yeah. it early and is now. She like got into it really bellies. early. Yeah. She's, she's also starting her own uh, crypto called Joanne's Fabric Coin. <laughs> Joanne's Fabs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so she's going to start selling that on um, the, what's it called? Sully, stop snoring. It's um, <laughs> also, who no. bought a Diane's Virgin shirt? Thanks. Um, <laughs> the boy of the week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I like, maybe it was like a rando searching I really... searching on T public and then now they're just gonna have a shirt that says Diane's Virgins. It's gonna be in a goodwill at some point. I definitely think it was like some random woman named Diane or something, or just like someone who has a friend named Diane. They were like, ha, 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 ha. now I'm their uh-huh. virgin. Yeah, you're right. It was probably just someone who wanted to claim themselves as Diane's virgin. Um I'm I don't think there are any part other of a gag bad boy gift. updates. Hmm, oh yeah. Wow. Perfect weeks almost. Well, yeah, except for the Elon SNL thing, which is perfect. Wow. That's going to be a real yuck. I'll still watch it, but. I know. Like, I watch SNL every week. I mean, it's going to so be am I just wild. Not gonna wa- I mean, whatever. I'm probably not going to end up watching it because now we can leave the house. But, um... <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> but with Elon, I don't know. The It seems like the cast members recently, I don't know, like, do they seem even worse at reading their lines? <laughs> wow donkey um right. i i do sort of miss i think like i don't know shit must be different or something like maybe they don't get enough time i don't know i get distracted by them reading the prompter i really do like much more yeah. recently and i just feel like it's probably like a covid reason or something like they don't get enough time or something and like yeah. to watch elon soon do that i can't wait <sighs> yeah it's gonna suck he- also like 
he has this I don't give a fuck attitude, but he so desperately wants to be liked and want he wants to be cool and he wants to like, you know, defy people's expectations of him by like totally nailing it on SNL. Like I feel that, but I think they should just let Miley Cyrus do double host duty. Let her sing and let her do she'd, she'd be a much better host than Elon. A thousand times, a thousand times. And I think she'd have fun with it. Yeah, she'll be a lot funner. She's not going to look like a weird um, wax museum doll. And it's definitely, she's definitely I mean, not embarrassing. Like, Elon Musk is such a bad choice. Ugh. Anyway. He is a bad choice. He's bad for the world. Bad for the world. Bad for the world. Bad for NBC. In that order. Worse for NBC. <laughs> and that's all we care about at Peacock. Poor Peacock. Poor, uh, I hope Peacock it's is okay. the real victim. Just recartridging here. Go nuts. I always feel like I'm in some apocalyptic movie when I put a new cartridge in my little smokeable tank. <laughs> Your little Julie Poo. So dumb. My Julie Poo man. Remember cigarettes though? Not that you were ever like a heavy smoker or anything. <laughs> Do you ever like have ciggies when you were drunk or whatever? That was um, it. I would have ciggies like my senior year of college. I smoked an occasional ciggy, like maybe one or two a month. Mm. I was I never really smoked no I just I wish I wish I could be someone who could just have one or two cigarettes a month that would be the perfect life I think I get but the thing is like I when you're smoking cigarettes before you have like a chemical addiction to it it's kind of unpleasant although when I was I drunk mean, it, when I was drunk yes. when I was drunk I, yeah of course I liked it because I mean also like it was cool it's cool to do like no one's gonna deny that smoking cigarettes is cool as hell Oh, I mean, that's the coolest thing on earth you can do for yourself. It's so but cool. Also, uh, very I, damaging. Extremely <laughs> damaging, but like not worth it. <laughs> no, not no worth way. It. And like, I mean, I definitely miss cigarettes, but like I've maybe had exactly three puffs from three different cigarettes since I'm like, oh, quit the big cig. Yeah. And like every time I'm like, my God, this is so rich. Oh, you're like, into it's, it. I can't believe I used to do a whole one of these, like multiple of these a day. Yeah. You were a cigarette. Quite you were rich. a smoker. My God, you were I miss it every day, but I also don't like it. It is a lot. I think it like <laughs> I think it would be like going through coronavirus as a smoker is its own brand of anxiety. I bet. Yeah. You know, like that sucks. Yeah. I love smoking, but also what a tough fucking thing to like. You quit, quit though. Dude. I mean, you but I'm still it. a vapor. So, like, I, I still feel like you a are. little bit of a smoker. Sorry, I called myself a vapor. Like, I'm part of a club. <laughs> You're a vapor. <laughs> Sorry, Isn't I joined it... a club. I, I, I must be so weird being in high school right now and, like, kids vaping in the bathroom. I mean, if mm, I could vape, perfect. if I if I were in high school and it was available to vape weed, fuck, game over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know what I would do. Holy it shit. W- it would have been... A whole, I, it would have been a whole different game. I can't even. And now with like every single edible in the world, every edible like you can envision, and so digestible. Like, it must be so sick to be a kid right now, but like kind of dangerous. It must be so <laughs> sick know. to like really inhale chemicals at such an early age. Like you know how our parents or whatever, and like their friends and shit are just like, oh, the weed I smoked was not as great as this weed or whatever. Oh my god, Never they always potent. say that. They love that shit. And like, like but like, okay. you can definitely say that about high school weed versus now weed. That's true. That's true. It but also like true. weird brag. Like, what are you like? Yeah. Yeah. You smoked shit. You smoked weed. bad weed. Loser. Oh, my God. Like, so did I. Yeah, we all did. We all did it. I mean, I've actually never paid for oregano. So that I feel like is my big win in life. That's a, that's that's really nice. That's did really you? good for you. Uh, no, I don't think so. But I really didn't have to pay for weed for a very long time. Whatever. <laughs> Buying weed in New York City is its own bag. I but, like back in the know. day. Now it's like now it's like they have all that. They have like a system now. I don't know what it is, but I feel like either they didn't take it that seriously in Canada or like it felt like every parent smoked weed. So like everyone's oh. parents, not my parents, though. I mean, my parents were not cool. Yeah. Um, so they did not smoke weed but like yeah i don't know and they always had really good weed and i guess we're really parents, encouraging like, smoking we really kinds. are i'm sorry and also Look, lay, but, lay down uh, the smokes guys gobble it out 
<laughs> his dad had two plants on his on his on her balcony. Like all nice. through high school. And it was just like Was he a cool dad? He was a cool dad, but like yeah. looking back, I don't know. Yeah. It's like maybe you could have been a little bit more mature, but I mean, whatever you had, you had endless pot. Let's move on to our bad boy blitz of the week. Woo! Wow, um, so many blitzies. So many blitzies. I guess you're right. Um, yeah, we. I mean, we're whatever. We're having a loosey goosey chunk of eps. That's fine. Yeah, we can have as many chunks as we want. Yeah, come on, it's our pod. Let us have as many chunks of as we want. <laughs> Let anyway, us chunk it out. We're going to, so we haven't done a reality TV show star blitz in a while. Um, in fact, we've only ever, well, I guess we did, we did the reality show, the reality stars blitz back in the day, like maybe episodes like nine and 10, like old school. Damn. Probably can't even get them on iTunes anymore. So sorry about it. And then we did wow. the 90 day fiance blitz with Bridger. And now we're doing. Okay. Uh, just you know, another and uh, some more reality stars because they're all bad, baby. They're all bad, baby. And we've got some updates too, because you know, yeah, people be bad. People be bad, and you know, people change, and it's not always for the better. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna start with Jen Shaw, who is honestly the star of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, which just ended its first season on the lovely network of Bravo TV. Um, how much Real Housewives of Salt Lake City did you, have you watched? I remember, okay, so I started like a little bit of it when you told me about it originally. Yeah. And then I forgot about it for a bit or the Bravo app wasn't working. Who knows? One of the two. Who can um, say? Who can say? Who can say? And then I picked it right back up a few days ago and then had a small binge drama. I think I'm on eight, but like, and then I saw today that there were like 20,000 episodes. So damn, I'm not even close. You wa- you're watching it. Salt Lake City? Yeah. Okay, so you've you watched, there? there's definitely not that many because they, I think they got like slightly, I mean, I don't, I have I actually like 20. Known, maybe, I don't know, it really flies by, but you like well, get damn. the, you get the gist of it, you get Jen Shaw, she's gotten to do a few screaming matches. I mean, yeah, and like, I don't know, she actually had me feeling sorry for her for a sec too, like, you know, whatever, she had a little psalm story. Uh, yeah, I, she's... <sighs> She's a very complex character, and sometimes you really do feel bad for her. And that's like, that's what makes her a good housewife, probably. Not that I've ever really watched any part of this franchise. Oh, you mean housewife and not housewife, but I get it. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, I, I was I like mean, confused for a second. No, no, no. She is I, mean, not a I mean, a bravo. I mean, a bravo. But housewife. she is a housewife. Type. She's certainly a housewife type. I hear what you're saying now. Jen Shaw was recently her and her assistant, Stuart. <laughs> were recently arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit money laundering and wire fraud. And Jen Shaw's assistants are like a big part of the show. Like she has close to 8 million Mm -hmm. assistants and they're all like Jen Shaw's second, like their lower third will say like Jen Shaw's first assistant, Jen Shaw's third assistant. Like, I don't know what the numbering system is exactly, but I think a lot of the Shaw squad were involved in this money laundering scheme and we'll definitely put a picture of the shaw squad in the um slimer of course and Jen, i mean we'll probably i'll probably end up photoshopping a very interesting collage of these four um distinct reality show icons well icons is the word according to the court filing <laughs> oh boy. um jen shaw and her assistant stuart carried out a wide-ranging telemarketing scheme by defraud and defrauded hundreds of victims. Um, they created fake business sites to generate lists of people and then would sell those lists to telemarketers. And they were mostly people over the age of 55. So they basically were like creating lists to gather people's information and then they would sell that information to telemarketers. Oh boy. Oh my God. I, this is like an early TV talk for me. But okay. um, we love watching these YouTube guys that like. <laughs> you and your YouTube guys. I never know oh, what to believe. I know. What do you mean never know what to believe? Um, They, okay. So there's this, okay. There are a couple guys. There's like one main guy who like makes these weird glitter bombs that started with like his packages getting stolen. I don't know. This is something Carlos was into deep before we found these phone call scammers. And then, um. Anyway, so basically he would like, I don't, he would put these fake 
boxes out for people to take because it was part of this like whole thing. And then it would like release fart spray and confetti. And then they would film the whole thing from like four iPhones. This guy used to work for NASA and like now he does this shit with his time. But he also like uncovered a giant, a giant like um, ring of phone scammers in India. Um, but like the people that call you and they're just like your SSN has been compromised. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just like preys on seniors with money, you know. And like, yeah, this weird it's scam. very much that. But yeah, basically uncovers them and then shows them photos of themselves and information of themselves and are just like, hey, stop, or we're gonna obviously get you arrested there's um the you know the podcast reply all yes i mean i hate to reference it because it's like everyone fucking listens to that podcast but whatever there's an episode that's sort of about this where they like do a deep dive into one of those companies in india that does those scams and it's this and eventually what they do is they like log into your computer like remotely you like give them access to log into your computer and one of the people who was like investigating them set their background to be a photograph of the head of the company oh my god yeah that's like what they do or they'll put a yeah. picture up of the person that they're talking to and they're just like yeah. they jump back and then yeah. it's so it's so weird and they like hack into okay, their webcams into so I've they like that. watch them and the whole office watching the computer like it's nuts and then he'll like you know hack the mic fucking start talking from the mic and being like why don't you want to turn your webcam on and talk to me <laughs> it's so nuts wow yeah See, it's, it's like it's kind of like uh like borat or something but genuine or something like that they're like it, really they're like pranking these people but it has weight yeah but like they're also must incredibly be, manipulative and just like you know they you know, right, know to real people irl or whatever but like you hear them with a scammer and they're like i can't feed my family and everyone's gonna die <laughs> and just, you know, blah, blah, i know blah. i know it, it, they do play a messy game like also um, this so, guy was very messy and definitely told the scammer that he loved them so it was very weird as an old woman so amazing show so i highly recommend <laughs> what's, it, put it, what's it called i have to look it up but it's probably in my okay. history somewhere well you'll you'll see it in wilmer <laughs> um yeah so jen shaw they pled not guilty she's currently trying to push her date back um and i think they're just still filming the season like this arrest happened when they were filming so you know it's going to be in all the promos mm, like yeah i can't bravo wait. <laughs> this news must have broke and the president of bravo came in his pants immediately like this season is going to have incredible ratings because of this it's like the kim and kanye divorce like oh, perfectly geez. timed with the final season of keeping up with the kardashians jen Start shaw like... getting arrested get jen shaw getting arrested during the shooting a real house oh certainly um anyway it's real seems a little too timed to me but yeah interesting very interesting yeah. it already it always seems a little bit timed and i think this is pretty co- i mean as i said i'm not a housewife myself but i think it's pretty common in these shows for housewives to have uh legal issues at some point throughout their tenure as a housewife but usually it happens not after the first season it happens like maybe season three or four when they already have some money but jen shaw's an early bloomer she's a trendsetter um See, I seems like uh, she's probably guilty. She has a lot of money, and her husband's a her husband's a football coach, so they make they make decent money. But he's not like the head coach. I, yeah, I still was not grasping what the whole family does because he wasn't there or whatever. So I guess I don't know. He's like a college football coach, so he travels a lot. Oh, college football, the greatest sport on earth. <laughs> yeah, I love college football. It is hands down what keeps this country going. Perfect sport. Perfect sport. If you were to ever have a child, would you let them play football? I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, no. Unless I didn't like it. Like, wouldn't you rather play with kittens? Email Diane. Um, Okay, so let's move on. Let's shut the door on Jen Shaw. Didn't know we'd be shutting the door so much. Mm, Interesting. Not a chance. I don't don't think think so. so. Not even in passing, probably not. I guess she's in Utah a lot. Wow. She's 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 new to fame. Let's move on to our next character, um, Ronnie Ortiz Magro. Never knew his last name. This is the first from... time I ever heard of this person in my life. Really? 
I think from so. Jersey Shore. Yeah, and you didn't. He's I didn't an know OG there was a Jersey Ronnie. Shore. There's a Ronnie. I, I feel like I know all the other names just because they've obviously be, been thrown into the universe yeah. so much. You that know, it's like, you know, Mike the situation. You know, DJ Pauly D. You know, how Vinny. can I forget? Ronnie's the fourth. Ronnie's the fourth big boy. Okay. Ronnie's the fourth big boy. Um, so he was arrested recently for <laughs> domestic violence for the second time. Um, okay, so he was previously arrested for an incident with his ex-girlfriend who he has a kid with. Um, and in the situation where he was arrested for the first time, there was some sort of physical altercation with her. Her name is Jen. Um, and he struck her and chased her around with a knife and then mm. locked himself in the bathroom with their daughter, who was a toddler at the time. And That's very scary. He, yes. And he made a plea deal, and he got 36 months of probation, no jail time. Um, so the specifics of what happened in this current situation, we don't know. We do know that his daughter was in his, they had 50-50 custody, him and his ex, who um, was the victim in that domestic violence situation. Um and we do know that the daughter was with Ronnie and he has a new girlfriend, presumably who was also there. But um, he was released on $100,000 bail. But, you know, he, this is a this is another charge when he's on probation for it for the first time and he didn't go to jail the first time. Um, so it doesn't look good for old Ronnie. I mean, like, curious what he was supposed to be doing after all that. Like, I mean, should be some kind of anger management, um, he did. something or other in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, it was 36 months of probation, and he had to, like, give money to a woman's shelter, and he did, like, a one-year anger management type of thing. Doesn't feel like it worked. <laughs> I, I'm shocked that they had they had joint custody. That is odd, you know. Yeah. kind of feels like if you... If you're charged like that, is is that a charge? I guess it's still kind of a charge if you're not convicted. I don't know. I don't understand how this works. Yeah, but like, yeah. Yeah. Yikes. That's a yikes. I don't know why. That is terrifying though. Jen, his ex, who's the mother who was a previous victim, spoke out recently and she was like, I this guy's out of this kid's life. This is the last time I'm driving to pick up my kid from this man's house. This kid's mine. Wow. Yeah. So he's good. I mean, that's definitely I don't I don't see how a judge would argue with her. No, I, I certainly wouldn't. Well, <clears throat> that sucks. That really sucks. I anyway, mean, I think I, he's going to I'm go half not sure. Likely. I never yeah. know if it's like the, you know, society failing, you know, him and, and as far as like giving him the correct shit to do in order to rehabilitate himself. Uh-huh. Or if it's just this very to- toxic uh shit that he's into or whatever and like who knows you know people aren't born evil he did go to rehab he did go to rehab so he does have some addiction stuff so presumably there's some other stuff there um but you know he's an abusey Susie. there's no denying it this is his second charge in less than three (gasps) years so yeah yeah i mean it that fucking sucks stop abusing people but also (laughs) stop abusing people Definitely get some help. Anyway, get some help. That's Ronnie. We can shut the door on him. That's a quickie. Yeah. It's just a reason. They have met. Probably a huge fan. You they think have so? One- I think he's met his idol. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I and think, Mark McGrath. I think he's met his idol. I feel like they've been billed together somehow in some way. They have must have been billed together. Yeah. You know, even if it's like a taco eating competition or something. Some like mm. oh, weird, unfortunately racist competition. And like... <laughs> Palm they Beach. would, but it would also like kind of be for charity, but not a good charity mm-hmm. like the Ronald McDonald House or like some weirdly <laughs> corporate charity. Mark McGrath or Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark McGrath here for Ronald McDonald Charities. And I think that he should play Ronald McDonald for life. And I'm here with hey, the managing. cast of the Jersey Shore, and we're going to eat a hundred hot dogs each for charity. <laughs> <laughs> They're really going to make a difference. Oh, God, I would love to watch him gulp down hot dogs. I don't think Mark would actually be gulping. I think that he'd be doing the emceeing and then the Jersey Shore cast would be doing the hot dog Have eating. Have you ever watched a actually... hot dog eating competition? Like bits and pieces of it, but like honestly, even gross for me. When they dunk it in the water, I want to, I 
No. Simply no. <laughs> when, Seeing that like, wet bun. <laughs> the wet bun, and then they just like shove it in their mouth. Oh my god, it is disgusting. It is disgusting. I. It should not be a sport. Like, <sighs> it should not be a thing that people do. It should not be a thing people do. Honestly, you're right. But also, Eating like, competitions, no. It's true. But what about um, like. Uh, chili eating competition not no. chili what are you like pepper not pepper eating chili eating is gross but pepper eating i mean, I mean what like spicy peppers? endurance yes yeah yeah yeah. like the spicy that's, endurance that's different i think it's i mean it's gross when they start well yeah i don't like when they barf but i think it's like the quantity eating competition that bothers me more when they're like how many blah blahs can you eat in this amount of time or like who can eat the most blah blahs in this amount of time yeah, I mean, if I'm full because I just ate and then I watched an eating competition, I will definitely spew everywhere. And that I mean, be... even on like Jesus and Meryl when they show an eating competition clip, I cannot watch. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right. <laughs> That's it's like the only watch, time if I we see can agree it. on one thing. Yeah, and when they dunk it in the water, it's just horrible. Okay, moving on to our next reality star, <laughs> um, Caitlyn Jenner, who, um, you know, I guess athlete, come reality star, come governor because she oh, is geez. running for the california governorship in a recall election where our dear governor gavin newsom is being recalled mm. so everyone in california will get a <laughs> ballot that says do you want him to be recalled and then do you want to replace him with reality with athlete come reality star come governor caitlin <laughs> um so apparently so weird so weird i hate it i like, hate it spicy i don't know why i didn't hit that during our pepper talk but very oh, spicy pepper, time to be in pepper talk um pepper talk i don't think she'd be a good governor also she's not a very charismatic speaker <laughs> okay two things that you're right about also <laughs> she was on mass singer and she was not a good mass singer yeah no what she like rapped right it was terrible yeah i mean listen are we I ready think, for our first mass singer governor? I don't think I was so. about to say maybe they should mass singer for the governorship. Oh, good idea. Yeah, yeah. you're right. But it's a charisma I mean, competition. I definitely charisma, think charisma uniqueness nerve of talent. <laughs> I definitely think Ken Jong and Robin Thicke need to pick the next governor of, oh of uh, California. Well, you know Jenny McCarthy Dream. is you know Jenny McCarthy is voting for Caitlin. Um, oh wow. Here's a very early but late TV talk from like a few episodes ago. Okay. It was Danny Trejo and like oh. Yeah, I love him. Yeah. But like he was unmasked and then he like he thanked Jenny for all her hard work for I think it was the autism community. But I think they should have cut that, that out. I think that he means vaccines because she's a famous anti-vaxxer. And Absolutely I'm pretty sure famous. it's because of, you know, one of her children is at autism, autism, I believe, okay. which like on top of it, not that I'm the advocate or person to be speaking about it because I know anything about it, but like, isn't there an entire drive of people saying stop stigmatizing children with autism and saying that like, even if they have it, like that we're trying to prevent people from having it anyway. Mm. <laughs> I don't understand. That's I don't, weird it's that just Danny Trejo too complicated that. for me. I'm really curious about Trejo, like famous anti-vaxxer, who knows? Email Diana. Is Jenny know. McCarthy vaxxed? No, not a chance. No? You got to practice. Anyway, I better, I'm going to look that up just to make sure that she's an anti-vaxxer for autism reasons and not just because I'm assuming it. And a lot of people state that. (laughs) I (laughs) think she, I know, I believe, I believe that that's why. Um, Very odd. So Caitlin voted for Trump in 2016 and then Trump did some bullshit to the trans community because Trump and Caitlin was like, well, I guess that was a mistake. And now um, she's running for governor, and apparently she is surrounded by Trump loyalists, including a fundraiser associated with the riots on January 6th. Um, And she was seen, like, having dinner with, like, a people who worked in the Trump administration and, like, a Fox News person. Um, I mean, look, she's really well-connected, and it's not an uplifting idea. I don't want her to be the governor. (laughs) I mean, no, certainly neither do I. I, I, I mean, celebrities being governors, 
we just listen we just fucking got rid of our goddamn mayor. president i just said mayor but i wish uh, yeah i mean i listen, wish that too like fucking mayor I, i'm not trying to like suck on newsom's balls or anything but like i just don't S- certainly not certainly, certainly not, not but like i don't think that like caitlin jenner as governor is the answer it is the weirdest answer on earth it's just like why and like how long have they been planning this i don't know <laughs> it's i mean what a in bizarre circumstance because there was a, at one point she said that she was going to run for diane feinstein's senate seat imagine um but i don't know maybe maybe the maybe like she saw the recall election as like an easier in than the senate race but i don't know look i'm not a fucking makes... politician anyway that seems we can't strategic to me we can't talk about caitlin jenner without talking about the famous vehicular manslaughter scenario when in 2015 caitlin ran into a woman's car and killed her um, it was a multiple, Jeez. multiple car collision. So it was like Caitlin hit her car and then her car hit another car and like, you know, but it was Caitlin's fault. But Caitlin was going the speed limit, but it was just b- bad road conditions that day and she was driving unsafely. Ugh. Um, No charges were- That's unsafely. Were f- I don't know. My guess is that mm. it was like raining or something. And even though she was going the speed limit, it was like way too quickly for the conditions, especially because people in California can't drive in the rain. People Got in it. LA. Oh, no, that is definitely true. Jeez Louise. And maybe she was like swerving a bit or who knows? Like, who knows? But yeah, geez. So there were no charges laid against her. There were no charges, um, but th- there were three civil lawsuits that were filed by the victim's family. Which, hmm. yeah, get that money. I would. I mean, I mean look, if, Ka- if Caitlyn Jenner killed my mom with her car, I would definitely file a civil lawsuit. Yeah. Yeah, I would, too. I and think I would. Everyone listening should do the same. Yeah. I mean, if Caitlyn Jenner hit your mother. Um, yeah. Well, email Diane, first of all. The first thing you do yeah. needs to be you email Diane and then you file a lawsuit. Yeah. Then you call the whoever you're supposed to call in that situation because i don't know what the laws are like 188 accidentes or whatever oh yeah no i don't think so i thought okay. i thought if there's like a fatal accident don't you call like a fucking fire truck or whatever look listen yeah i'm putting a lot of um uh, people to the test right now with their driving skills listen, look, does anybody know the fucking answer you look and you listen and you know you figure it out <laughs> um all right so let's shut the door on caitlin Zippity doo da. Definitely, I think yeah. so. At like uh, Maralagi's. Definitely a Maralagi. I mean, they logged in there at the same time. Yeah, definitely. They definitely logged in. <laughs> Mark might be her communications director. Oh my god, a dream. <laughs> um, definitely can't dream, believe it. Dream future career for Mark McGrath. It will be fucking a circus if this happens. I can see it happening, too. There are other Republicans also running in the recall election, so it's not just Caitlin, but, like, I haven't heard about any of them. I mean, I guess whoever has the most money behind them, certainly. Which certainly. will certainly be Caitlyn Jenner, who I didn't even look up her net worth. What's your, my guess is it's going to, my guess is it's going to be 70 million. Oh boy. Okay, then I'm going to top you and say 85 million. A hundred. Wow. Olympian money, baby. I guess so. You're right. I don't know. Do other, I don't think Olympians are rich, but certainly. But certainly she's, done she's rich. Several engagements. <laughs> she's had quite a few engagements. Um, all right, then let's move mm-hmm. on to our final. Entrepreneur? I guess, yeah. I guess this next one's a bad boy update, but it's also just, you know, just a reminder. Um, Colton Just Underwood. A reminder. Colton Underwood, Ugh. former bachelor. Um, perhaps you missed it, but he came out to Robin Roberts on Good Morning America. He is a gay Christian man. Um, but perfect. Well, yeah, which like great. Um, that being said, he did stalk and harass his ex girlfriend Cassie who they met on the show. He put a tracking device on her car. Um, he right. 
He stalked her. He showed up at her house in the middle of the night. All those things still happened. <laughs> now he's come out as a gay man and he's going to have a show on Netflix about it. That's interesting. And a lot of people have signed a petition um, for Netflix to not go through with the show, I guess, because I guess they're doing the shoot now for it, the big shooterama. I guess so. Or maybe they shot it. Who fucking knows? I don't keep up with his life. But like, yeah. imagine all this happened. You had to literally tell Bachelor Nation. Yeah. You had to address Chris Harrison, of all people, and say, um, your bachelor stalked the shit out of me mm-hmm. and I was fearful of my life. And I and had now to get a come to me, order. Right. And now you come to me and ask me what I think of the situation about him coming out. Like I would have any opinion on it. Right. Like there was, there's too much applause for Colton for coming out when it does not change the fact that he stalked and harassed a woman to the point where she was fearful for her life. Like, yeah. I don't think that he should, you know, have a show for that. <laughs> I mean, definitely like, definitely not. He this should is a not show be about given. It. He should not be given a spotlight. I don't want to. I don't want to hear a sympathetic story about why he stalked someone and sent them fake text messages and was a fucking creep. Yeah, I mean, it's very scary. <laughs> It's, it's really giving me stuff. it's giving me Kevin Spacey and I don't like it. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? It's really scary. Oh God, where I wonder where he is now. I don't care where Kevin Spacey is right now, no, but like not even a no. little. But yeah, so mm. Cassie, of course, because people are like asking her over and over again to comment on this situation. Like, can you comment on your stalker? Can you comment on your stalker? She basically said, like, look, I get all your messages. Like, thank you to everyone for the support, but I'm not gonna comment on this. And I hope yeah. you leave her alone because this must suck Honestly. for her. This must suck for her so bad. Yeah. I mean, it must be really painful. It must be was... really difficult to see like people, you know, I mean, I don't know how she feels about the people she was on the show with, but like to see everyone on the show commend him for coming out when like that's great for him. I get like, I mean, you know, obviously I think people should come out if they want to come out, but it just must suck seeing people like congratulate and commend him when they also know that he abused her. Right. It's just so scary. I don't know. It's, and then giving him a platform on Netflix, you know, it's, it's, yeah, I don't know. I I don't don't know. I'm not the big, I'm not obsessed with it. I'm not obsessed with it. Right. And it, it just kind of, I mean, Lance Bass had words. Lance Bass had words. Lance Bass's words weren't really about him being a stalker. They were more about him um, exploiting the gay story, his like whatever, for exploiting it for money, exploiting his gay story for money. Right. Which is, you know, sure. I guess I guess Lance can say that. Yeah, Lance can say whatever he wants. Certainly. I mean, and he is definitely doing that. I guess. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I would, I don't know. I don't think I'm the authority on it, so I can't say yes or no on that. But like, you know, if Lance is saying it, I kind of believe Lance. Yeah, I do too. I, I, I feel for Cassie and I, I it's, it's not, a I don't even know situation. Cassie's last name. I don't know anything about Cassie. Yeah. But like, <laughs> you feel bad for Cassie, like, but I feel bad for Cassie. Cause like, I don't know to be haran- harangued, 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 harangued feels right. Yeah. Um, Whatever. after, I don't know, probably one of the most tumultuous relationships you've ever had. Um, 100%. I don't know. And I can't judge for Cassie, but that sounds yeah. like a lot. And remember he got coronavirus too. Oh, geez, on top of it. On so he got a late max. Good Lord. Uh, whatever. Ugh, Colton, I don't know. I just don't know why you would put a tracking device on someone's car. Seems like a little extra. But yeah, it doesn't seem doesn't seem related to your um, sexuality to me. It doesn't. It doesn't. Let's shut the door on Colton. And let's hope okay. Netflix does too, bitch. Shut the door, baby. Don't say a word. They haven't met and they won't. Do you know I've met Colton? <laughs> Oh, I forget your story. Your um, big story. My now big I know story. two people who have met Colton. Wowzas. Um, I was doing social media for the Critics' Choice Reality TV Awards. We were like backstage interviewing the people to like post on their Twitter account. 
And oh, yeah. Um, yeah, he was there, taller than you would think. We asked him what TV shows, what reality TV shows do you watch with Cassie? This was pre oh, pre the event that led to the and restraining he said, order. And he, he said, said, what's that creepy one? To catch with, a predator. Um, no, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was thinking of I was thinking of that one that's like, ugh, it's like the uh, daughters or something that are too close to their moms. What's that show on oh, TLC? Oh, not like so smothered. Gross. Not smothered. That's the sun. I one. think it's called smothered. Oh no, you're right. That is smothered. <laughs> yeah, There's, yeah, yeah. Uh, what a creepy, creepy, creepy show. But even worse if it was dads. Can you imagine? No. Um, Much worse. Anyway, that's that on that. So those are the four. I can't wait to Photoshop them together into a picture. It's going to be, it's a weird group, you know? I don't think these four have ever, been in, have ever been in a room together. Jen Shaw, Ronnie from Jersey Shore, Caitlyn Jenner, and Colton. No way. Dream quadruple? Although I could see like Colton and Caitlyn Quinn Jenner trouble? doing like some like Republicans for the LGBTQ community thing. Hmm. That's an interesting look for them. Yeah. Anyway, I, mean, I, I, wow. I look forward to everything that comes our way. Caitlyn Jenner wise, because it's going to be a such a show. little circus. My God. Such a little circus. Okay. Let's move on to good boys. Have any? I remembered. Oh, nice. Can you believe it? Yeah. No, no, that I can't believe it or that you can't believe it. I didn't I even write it down. It. Actually, I think I may have. And then I just forgot. Oh, wow. Well, Julia has leveled up. Ooh, toke it, baby. I might, maybe I will. It is my milk frother. I love my milk frother. <laughs> Tell me you know about which, it. I literally last week, last Saturday mm -hmm. at like midnight, I think I was just like, you know what I want? <laughs> A fucking milk. I need a milk frother. And I was like, I'm going to fucking just get one. Mm -hmm. And then I had to go back into our text and find the one that you sent me. Oh, so I was like, which one do you have? Roll back. Or did you just I search really... milk frother? That's probably what I did. Or I just like went to the links or something. You know how you can do that? Yeah, but it's like still. I mean, I probably texted I guess you about the back milk frother years ago. No, it was certainly this year. It's the same one that you have right now. And I've definitely asked you in the past like three months. Okay. Um, anyway, love her. Um, Isn't I'll she great? Her her. Yeah, she really buzzes out. It's kind of like we had sex with the same man. Oh, my God. Anyway, she's <laughs> the face going, you just made. <laughs> she's going in the slider, baby. You like her little oh. stand? I do. I, yeah. I was I was like, what is this little? Oh. She sits mm -hmm. in there real nice. Here's the real yeah. question, though. Are you ever going to wash it with soap? Or are you just going to give it a rinse? Oh, my God. I'm going to rinse it every day. There's no way I'm going to ever put soap on her. No, Certainly no, not. No, certainly Maybe not. one day I'll break down and use it. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Put well, soap on there. only time yes. will tell. Let's move on to TV talk. Wait, who's your good boy? None? No, I guess Terrible not. week? Terrible week. I do like this God. new pipe. Oh, it is pretty. We will we'll put, put that in the slime yeah, room. We'll put, and it comes with it a, also has a holder. It also <laughs> did you know it comes with a silicone pouch? Mm -hmm. It does have a holder. It comes with a silicone Boss pouch. Man, bye, done, done, done. <laughs> yeah. He thought of it. <laughs> you think he's gonna smoke weed when he's out of the White House? No, he's gonna die first. Email Diane if he's gonna leave the White House in a body bag or not. <laughs> okay. Yikes. <laughs> I was like just pondering whether or not he smokes the devil's lettuce, baby. I don't think so. Because remember, they just fired a bunch of people in their. Recently, oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah, fired yeah, yeah, people yeah, just oh, for smoking God. weed squares. Um, okay, loser. Okay, TV talk. TV talk. Okay. Okay. Wow. I guess, can we just start with SVU? Okay. <laughs> I have never you hated, hated an episode more in my life. The gist really? of the episode okay. was it's COVID um, and a woman's life falls apart. Her mommy dies because her son won't listen to COVID protocols and keeps going <laughs> out and partying. Her Oops. shitty husband leaves her because he has to go spend time with her parents. And all she has left is her restaurant that's really struggling in the middle of the pandemic. And the only thing she can do is hold her lender up at gunpoint as a hostage inside but luckily olivia benson was a regular at the restaurant and she broke in and talked her down baby incredible incredible how was that incredible how was job. that synopsis incredible synopsis i think we got everything here but like <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I was like, I don't know. There were points where I'm like, this is pretty sexist. <laughs> oh, interesting. Go on. I mean, I don't know. It just kind of made her seem very, what's the word? Um, it was definitely, it was definitely like crazy woman. That was very hysterical. Much the, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. It was very like, and pushed to her point because of her children and her husband. And it's just like, right. can you figure out any other fucking plot points? I know. It's like the emotion was too much. The only thing she could do is threaten to kill herself and everyone around her. I just very weird. Yeah. Very, I did not very like weird. It. I did not like it. I did not like it one bit. Olivia definitely talked her down eventually by being like, listen, I know someone who's died too of right. brain cancer, a little person called the love of my life. So <laughs> I think I know death pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was actually a get perfect it. explanation. Um, and then mm-hmm. the other plot was that like Rollins' dad was dying and he... Oh, right. <laughs> and he has like a young slutty wife. And I was like, this sucks. The whole... It oh, was a sexist episode. It was a sexist episode. It really kind of was. Um. Ugh. So that sucked. How about organized crime, though? That one was harder to pay attention to for some reason. Even this though wasn't the best. you was bad. This wasn't the, the best, best episode of organized crime. No, it was definitely like a filler episode. Like there was no real movement in the plot. It feels like, you know, it feels like they're setting up for a big thing, like with the undercover cop who's now seducing the main mafia guy, and like obviously Stabler's gonna fuck the mafia guy's ex-wife. Um, so they're definitely setting up for a big crescendo of fucking. Right. We definitely watched this woman blow up like 700 times on on some loop of a tape. So that yeah, was yeah, nice. Yeah. We definitely so that was cool. We definitely saw Stapler's wife explode a couple times. Yeah, that episode was. A oh, right. Total... It was Stapler's wife. Right. Stapler's wife. That episode was <laughs> meh. Uh, he did punch a wall, though, which really brought me back and was like just such a show of testosterone. It was kind of hot. Mm, yeah definitely gave me angry boy syndrome thoughts and like also um <laughs> ooh, they're trying to like oh right they, this was a big intervention for him too his yeah, like kids the- are concerned about him punching walls and having yeah, PTSD kids- obviously because his wife blew up yeah but, he's uh. <laughs> he might have a little PTSD from when his wife blew up it's bit. true just a yeah. smidge um, Plus Olivia did pop in in this episode, so that was nice to see. Yeah, it was nice to see her, and so did Carisi, which I didn't like. Mm. But that was a fun plot line when they like when the assassin. I don't know, whatever. I won't get into it. That was fun though. That part with the that part was fun. It was a fun a fun bun. I will that was say. a fun bun. Um, all right, let's move on to the circle. Mm, I can't wait. I I Honestly, mean, this show is so gripping. Good. It is gripping. Um, How about the reveal after the, the last step? Uh, that was funny. That was really funny. I laughed are they, so, so are they hard. Never gonna... I laughed so hard. So I don't know if you're watching The Circle. And if you are, I mean, this is a big spoiler alert. But basically, two of the contestants, the one who is pretending to be Lance Bass and another one who is pretending to be a girl but totally fucked up the makeup challenge. And we are going oh, to great. put that makeup oh. mannequin in the slider hilarious because the fu- honestly the funniest thing i've ever seen hilarious because he's supposed to be like a 21 year old sorority girl who definitely is wearing makeup in all of her photos and then he there was like a makeup <laughs> challenge and he just had no idea what he was doing and it ruined the game for him but then they put it them really both in an apartment together and they're playing the character of like they're playing the character of like an old man um, which is amazing i, I definitely yelped when i, I saw that i, I laughed so i cackled i cackled do you think the others are going to catch yes. on that it's them? No, hell no. They definitely think that like no one got to see. Wait, but like, here's my question. Yeah. Because they both said they were going to visit someone. They were like, I thought I was visiting so-and-so. I thought I was visiting so-and-so. And usually they get some kind of something at the end that says, you know, okay, guys, this is the real me and fuck you. And I bet, you know, no, I bet they're going to you, have, you, you're fine. I bet they're going to have videos where they're like, and we're leaving the circle, blah, we're leaving, we're leaving, mm, we're leaving, but they're not really a leaving. deep fake. But the thing is, like, they didn't visit anyone on their way out, but right. so many people lie in the circle and they'll be like, you know, they don't want to say if they were visited or not. So it's entirely oh it's entirely possible that everyone's just gonna be like, why is no one saying who they visited? Everyone's being so sketchy about this. I really hope they get Lance Bass for real to be like, 
Thanks for playing, guys. This was really awesome. Um, oh, whatever. my God, you're right. <laughs> I think they're going to do that. I kind of feel like they're going to actually bring him in because why would they just bring in his assistant and then? Well, not... do you think they're going to do that it's... with Emily, too? Oh, my God. I don't even know what they're doing with Emily. I hope they just put that fucking mannequin head on a body and just like <laughs> make its mouth move. Be I like, would, this is the real me. By I would planet. I would really lose it if they made if they recorded a video with the real Emily and played it as the bye bye. Hashtag the real Emily. That would be <laughs> dope. I honestly, if they get the real Emily and the real Lance on here, then the circle has been planning this the entire time. Like, yeah, that's someone. true. Anyway, can't wait to watch all four episodes before 11 a.m. on Wednesday. I was so surprised. I was like, I, I get down to it at like 4.30. You <laughs> crack into it, it and you you're just... like, I fucking, no, I started it. That's sad for you. <laughs> Shut honestly, up. the second I wake up, I like... This is how I was last season. <laughs> this is how I was last season too. Like I would get up early to watch it, and the f the day it came out, I ended up watching the finale on my phone at work because I like had to see it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm on the subreddit Sassed. now. I'm on the subreddit now, so no need to worry, everyone. Um, oh, should I get on the subreddit for it? Is it interesting? It's not Obviously that good. It it's not either. that good yet. <laughs> Stop. Okay, uh, no, well, it's not. It's I don't post on it yet. I've only okay. the only subreddits I've really posted. I post on the Drag Race subreddit, the Crazy Kid School subreddit, <laughs> <laughs> all the important ones. Killing it. Um, any other TV talks? Mm, Night of the Fiance came to a close. Oh yeah, she came to a close. This last f crop of couples. Um, I'm so glad. Kooky Booky. Yeah, I'm so glad they're done. All right, <laughs> let's talk about RuPaul's Drag Race, <laughs> the finale, baby. Um, we, yeah, I'm so glad Candy made it so far, but didn't win. <laughs> I cannot believe she made it that far. I'm really glad she, I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised. Th she Happy. should not have been runner up. It made no sense. I know you're such a Candy fan, but first of all, look at the final runways on that show. Candy's were very not good. Compared to Gottmik and Simone's who were a bon appetit. They really were bon appetit, but... They were Bon Appetit. I don't know. Whatever. It was very surprising. And, you know, whatever. I mean, That's the truth is that Candy Candy won that lip sync against Rosé. And Simone won that lip sync against Gottmik. So they were, because of the way the lip syncs were drawn, you know, they did win. And it should have been them two at the end. Yeah. But no. I just think Gottmik had a way better season than Candy. It's wild, but whatever. I'm happy about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know, I know you love candy, and I'm really glad Simone won. Well deserved. She's so cute, and I think, uh, I think she's a good. I think I'm glad that she won. Yeah, I think Simone was great. How weird? Do you think Cory Booker and Rue are really cousins, or was that a full blown lie? I'm pretty sure there's a Finding Your Roots special. Really? Yeah, another TV talk, Finding Your It Special. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they were on the same episode, but I know that I either watched a Corey one or a Rue one, and they're related. I'm pretty sure it was Corey. Very wild. Can you believe? Really weird. I mean, if I were about to perform on the finale of RuPaul's Drag Race, I wouldn't be like, I need to hear from a U.S. Senator Cory Booker. <laughs> My distant cousin. I mean... Also, like... AOC was on last season and that almost makes sense because like I believe AOC watches Drag Race mm. I don't think Cory Booker watches Drag Race you don't think Rosario watches Drag Race are they still a thing email that's Diane. a good point I don't know email Diane I feel like she's a huge drag um, fan Put her also on. RuPaul's RuPaul's performance in the beginning was not good no I actually walked up and went to the bathroom <laughs> I was like mm, whatever I don't need this um i yeah i'm glad simone won it was like the longest season of my life rupaul down under is starting on may 1st so i'll be watching that is that the I know first season ever first season ever maybe i'll give it a try who knows okay you who heard knows? it here first you know what i'd like um, to see more of other than dating around is um that australian uh like netflix airbnb show Oh, Instant Hotel. That was such a weird show. <laughs> that was so random. Yeah, you're right. I would like to see that too. My God. I just love all I wonder things. if they could do it in I wonder if they could do it in the States. Mm, we don't deserve it. You're right. Um 
I like that show. I'll take another season mm-hmm. um, if anyone's offering. <laughs> if anyone's offering. I'm so upset you're not watching Top Chef. I don't get it. Um, there's a new nature I'll doc. Start. There's a new nature doc on Netflix about color. Ooh. And I started it, oh. and it's not bad. It's not bad. It's like okay. a class. I mean, it's a, <laughs> it's a classic. It's a classic. I just hate color and what nature? Yeah, so it's like you know peacocks nope. and like fishies and like definitely birds doing their like weird sex dances. Oh, love the sex dances! Yeah, birds do the funniest sex dances. And if there's still room really in the hump. slimer, we can definitely put a sex a bird sex dance in there. Um, oh, I will. Yeah. Jerry's was really that laughing. Cher? Yeah, he's really sex laughing. dancing. He's really sex dancing right now. This is his. Sometimes he laughs really hard at not my jokes, and that just gets me to run into the other room and jump his bones. So that's what's happening. Oh. Um, yeah, I like I like this new. I watched it. It was interesting. It was like this is how fish see. We got ultraviolet lights just for the show. And David Attenborough is like zoom. his face. I was about to ask, is it an Attenborough surprise? It's an Love Attenborough it surprise. Just comes out when you need them most you know yeah 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 yeah. scorpio moon oh my god also when my friend robinson was over here yesterday he was telling me about um whatever we have a friend and his friend's stepmom has four african gray parrots oh alert! yeah and one time robinson went over there and you know parrots repeat what they hear Mm -hmm. and one of the parrots said to him gentle kiss for daddy because that's what <laughs> that's what his owner says to this parrot is oh, gentle kiss for daddy God, this is so fucked up that you're talking about this because i was literally talking about this with my mom on the phone earlier i was Parrots? like i could i could own a parrot like that in my life right now because like i think i could i think that like you not, do i don't think francis would get <laughs> you don't know that but also like imagine how much it would antagonize fran are you seriously gonna get a, a get a parrot did you almost say raccoon? Because, yeah, I'm going to buy a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing he told me was that they're all, all these parrots are rescues because, you know, they live a thousand years. And that right. one of them was rescued from a Jewish couple and it had like a Jewish accent. Oh, I love that. It was like, That's hello. So <laughs> uh, there's this, there's this, um, there's this parrot that speaks Spanish on TikTok. Have I ever sent him to you? No, I must like, know. Is oh my real? god! I'm gonna send him a thousand videos of you. Of you? Yeah, I'm gonna send the parrot videos of you. <laughs> yeah, please, let the, <laughs> please show the parrot me. I want to know what what he thinks. I love him. And then we sent him to Carlos's brother, and he was like, "Oh yeah, that guy used to be my neighbor. I used to cut his hair." Yeah, the owner. And it was very a very wild moment. Do you really want a parrot? I think I do. You know they're gonna li- outlive you. That's fine. I hope it actually finds me and then it can call the cops or whatever you know the corpse police to take my body away you want the bird to fly to the corpse police's house no i wanted to get on a landline phone wanted to be like this bitch is dead exactly (laughs) but like in my own mannerism and the way that i would say it (laughs) Uh uh-huh you know what I mean? I want to know if it would take on like my mannerisms. I was going to try to impersonate you, but I don't think I'm not good at that. Are you? Mm, you Are could you? if you were just like. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I guess, you know, I, I'll try to perfect it by next week. Um, so do you have any other lingerers? No lingering boo-boos. Incredible news. So. Uh, email Diane at badboypod.com. You're good boys. Uh, you're bad boys on the block. Please. Definitely Kevin James in a tank top. My God, I must see it. Um, I mean, mm-hmm. Diane must see it. I want to see that chest. Show I can just it. Google it. Show me those arms. Um, and TV talks, I guess you can suggest to us, but we're not going to listen if we're being honest. Follow us at Bad Boy Podcast uh, on Twitter if you feel like it, on Instagram if you feel like it. Um, shop.badboypod.com buy a tea Mm, why not why not um and you know who knows who the bad boy is going to be next week and that's just what life Mm. is about baby Mm, waking up to find out which bad boy did what props to you my lady parts